Should I buy or sell Apple? The report for Apple was first published on our website Friday, January 13, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since December 6, 2022, our system ranks Apple as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.059. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 5.70%. This is an average return of minus 0.21% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Green Day on Friday for Apple. The Apple stock price gained 1.01% on the last trading day, Friday, January 13, 2023, rising from $133.41 to $134.76. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.48% from a day low at $131.66 to a day high of $134.92. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.97% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 14 million shares and in total, 58 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.77 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $179.61, and the lowest price was $124.17. Right now the price is 24.97%, or $44.85, below 52-week high and 40.96%, or $93.50, below all-time high August 30, 2018 where the price hit $228.26. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 12.26% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 21.20% and minus 8.93%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 15.63% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 29.49% and 1.52%. This equals a price between $95.02 and $136.81 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, January 13, 2023 Rosenblatt set price target to 165. On Wednesday, January 11, 2023 Barclays set price target to 133. On Wednesday, January 4, 2023 Wedbush set price target to 175. On Tuesday, January 3, 2023 Exane BNP Paribas set price target to 140. On Tuesday, December 20, 2022 JP Morgan set price target to 190. From analysts Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Apple. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, January 5, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.79%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Apple stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock.
On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $137.05. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $131.03. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 7 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 12 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 7 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 28 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 29 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 52 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 74 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $134.51 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.26 between high and low, or 2.48%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.42%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 21.85. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2022 is expect to be released February 02, 2023. The consensus among the analysts are $1.93. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $138.38. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $134.51 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On November 22, 2022 Condo Chris made an inside sell of 20,200 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 7,200 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 69,678 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 85,147 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 14,274 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 18.747. In total, the insiders bought 2,701,461 and sold 4,100,985 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Apple stock a buy? Apple holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Tuesday 17th we expect Apple to open down minus 98 cents and start trading at $133.78. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us.
by using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to